run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Planet Zoo. Alright guys, so we're picking up, continue where we left off. That's our habitat for wild dogs that we created. And it's doing really well. Our park has that one attraction, but it is profiting. We've taken it easy. We're taking it slow, as you know. Try not to do too much. Because one of the things that is easy to do in this game is do too much. Um, and try to build too fast. We've been taking our time and we're profiting. So now we're going to build our second habitat. So what I'm doing, this corner is a good spot. Where the people gather and they watch the wild dogs. So I'm going to start from here. That way, once they get done, they can hit this little ramp, hit this path, and uh, head up to this next one. What it's going to have is like an overhang or an over overpass where you can look into the habitat and walk over it and see the animals from above. I think they'll like that. So I made just two upward ramp areas that they can go. Then I'm making this as a larger viewing area. So they'll walk this way. They can walk around. Um, it's, it's a much wider path. That way, I'm sure that they won't get stuck. Because they can't get stuck uh, and get obstructed. And it connects back here in that area I made as a little eating area. Uh, that's a just a relaxed area for the people with park benches. All right. So now we're going to start building the habitat. So I'm going to keep it close to the walkway to the, the little eating wreck area the chill zone and we're going to start building this habitat. So again, I want it to go under this walkway that way the people can look at it and look down in it and they'll see the different animals. And this is going to be like the mixed pen. This is going to be the multi multi species, multicultural pen for the animals. All right. So we are coming on around again, it's going to sweep back close. Bam. And we are connected. Yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, this is the entirety. And if I need to expand it or make it bigger later, I'll do that. But for now, this is what it's going to be. Okay. And the two uh, habitats, the two exhibits aren't too far from one another. So again, the people will stay in this area. They'll spend that money. They'll view. They'll be educated and they'll donate. Now, this is going to be my service entrance for my employees, my staff entrance that I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to just connect it right back here. Uh, do I want to make this path a little smaller? Mm, I'm going to make a staff path, actually. That way, no regular guests can walk on this. This will be for staff only. Staff only. Yeah, make sure you use your staff paths. And that keeps uh, regular people, the customers, from uh, walking in and walking around that staff path. Potentially going into your habitat, messing things up. We can't have that. We can't have y'all messing things up. All right. Do I want to make a connector there or keep this separate? Mm, I think I keep it separate. Look at my mechanic going over there ready to fix things, ready to do his job. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I have already been collecting a mixture of animals. Let me make sure I have everything that we need for this one. Like those planes, man. Like those planes. All right, all right. So, what I want to do next is I'm going to make a, a, a water area where these animals can drink and bathe, swim around, get exercise. It's always cool to have your little water area. Um, do I want to do it on this side so they can look at it? Mm, or do I want to do it on the back end? I kind of want to have it close to this side so the people will be able to view them drinking, feeding, uh, bathing and such right there by, by one of the viewing areas. But I could do it on this side under the bridge to give them more to view. Uh, let's see, let's see. Mm, and actually thinking about it now, I'm going to go ahead and make a path, a lower walker walkway area that people can go around. They'll be able to view. I'm going to open up some spots, some viewing areas on this path uh, window. But yeah, we're just going to take this all the way around the perimeter, around the gate. 
And that way, if they want to walk around, they can. But if they want to go up those stairs and view from the top, they can also. Okay, so I'm trying to complete this, but actually the ramp was in the way. And this wasn't wanting to connect properly. So I had to move the fence a little bit of the uh, habitat. And doggone it, it's looking like we still may have a tree obstruction. And I cannot delete this tree. Doggone it. So I'm going to have to tear some of this down and uh, work it out to get around this. Yeah, we're going to have to edit this barrier a little bit more. So I, I just did a little bit of, of adjusting it. So have to uh, bring it in just a smidge, just a smidge. Get around our... Uh, mm, there we go. Get around our walkway, our elevated walkway. Let me bring that down. Yeah, I want to start from about there. Bam, bam, bam. Connect. Now they can walk around, walk under the path, see the trees. You know how we do. We working it out. We working it out. Okay, look like we was kind of in the red, but we're still profiting. But you know, because we're building, they're taking that into account with our uh, with our finances. But no, we good, we good, we still making that money. All right, all right. So what do we want to do next? I open this up, open it up here so they can view, so they can see what's going on. And what injured animal? Oh, the inspector here, man. When the inspector here, you got to be careful. He be finding all kind of stuff, just finding people. You know, I mean, just finding folks. Like, dang. Let's see. He injured. Are you injured? Oh, he <laughs> he's passed on to the afterlife. Like they just dumping their food. It's not actually using those uh food dishes correctly or the water dishes. Uh, I gotta see what's up with that. Okay, this person is injured, or this dog is injured. Sada. So we'll call the vet. Get the vet to come in there and help him out. And somebody, the keeper, need to come get this uh this dog that has passed on and is now in the other world. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. Okay, they're going to come get them. They're going to come get them. So we're going to get back to what we was doing. But they should come remove them and get our uh, park back right. Make our people happy so they don't have to look at that dog laid out there like that. All right, all right, all right. You know, it's the circle of life. The circle of life. <laughs> you know any moves us all. <laughs> all right. Okay, and now that we're back over by our new area that we're building, we're gonna do some lowering of the land because I do wanna make this water trough for our animals. Again, this is our mixed pen, our multicultural, multi-species pen. So let's lower this. Sometimes, you know, it takes a little learning or a little work with terraforming the land and knowing how to get it down and smooth in the way you want to, but I like that. I like that, I don't wanna make it too deep but I want to make it deep enough that like the oxen and uh, some of the different animals can swim in it if they choose to or bathe. So let's see. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now I also can, Oh, that's a little too much. I didn't mean to go that high with it. The, the first one I think I'll go with. So I'm gonna have to bring this back down. Uh, let's see. How do I get this out of here? Can I paint it out? I may just have to undo. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's another way to, to bring this down or bring the land up to the water. Um, I think they have to keep updating to get the water, you, you to be able to kind of remove, increase, decrease the water. Uh, right now, you, once you put it in there, it's in there unless you undo it. And even the land, I can't find a way to just make it raise or lower to make the water uh, disappear. It's so, okay. I did an undo, and let's try this one more time. There we go. Ah, doggone it. Okay, we're, we're just going to keep it right here for now. Because, eh, yeah, it... You can see the blue outline of where it places the water. 
but yeah, I, I think that's good. I think that'll be enough. We'll start here and we'll see how our animals like it once we put them in. All right. We got plenty of space out here. This is going to be a really nice pen, man. I, I want to go walk around and see this myself. It's going to be a really nice pen. Okay. So let's see. We'll copy this and I'm going to put one of these, uh, you know, one of these pens in here for the animals so they have their own little private space here in the back. And since I made this, I'm going to just do a little copy paste. And again, the animals can go back here. Uh, when they're ready to relax, you know, ready to get out the sun, you know, just have some private, private time from all these prying guys. You know, these people, they pry, you know, so you always want to give your animals uh, a little private area of their own. Now, since this is a large pen um, and it's going to be a lot of animals in here, I'm going to do a couple of them. We'll do them near the rear on those sides because I don't imagine I'm going to open it up back there for the people to view. Maybe I will. Maybe I will make one open area, but I'm going to mainly try to keep the people up here near this front area for their viewing. All right. But I like that. I like how that looks back there. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hit me in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about how this looks. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So now we're going to outfit and put the, the needed uh, items in here for like food and recreation in this pen. So I did a copy paste with this water trough so they have some water. Even though I feel like they're not filling up the water trough. But I'm going to put a water bowl too. I'm just trying to put as many ways for them to get fed as possible. And we're putting them by this little viewing fence. I'm also do this water pipe. The water pipe seems to, to stay full with liquid for the animals to drink. Um, but again, I'm not sure. I, and some of the things I have to make sure they aren't pen specific, but right now I'm just trying to cover all bases. All right. So let's look at some of the animals that we have available. Um, and the thing I've been doing is just buying animals, uh, buying the cash animals, not using the, uh, you know, your points, but buying the cash animals and just storing them up. So again, keep buying them and adding them to your trade center. You say I have a bunch of, uh, African Buffalo. And you try to get male and female so they hopefully breed. When all the conditions are optimal, then they will breed and you'll get more young people. And that'll help you because they will die off eventually. All the animals have a certain lifespan that you have to be aware of. All right, so I was just sitting here thinking to myself, I'm sitting here at my little farm. This is a little grind farm. I only got one exhibit and it's wild dogs. And I was like, yo, <laughs> if this was a little fair in a little town and they came here, this would be a crappy fair. All you do is come in and you got a little <laughs> fenced in area with a bunch of wild dogs. Like, that would suck. <laughs> they ain't got no other exhibit but this. They ain't got no other exhibit but this. <laughs> Some wild dogs. You can see that in the street. So I'm gonna start researching in a minute. I'm gonna build a research center. I don't have that. Really just trying to minimize and keep my resources very low. That's why I haven't put these uh, other animals out here. Well, partly too, because all I have is females and I wanna give them the opportunity to breed. But I'm making a decent amount of profit each day for the most of the day. <laughs> the inspector is at my zoo. I may let it get to like 100K and then I start building the elephant, the ostrich. Like, I'm going to start with ostrich, zebras, antelope, warthogs. Uh, when I can get some giraffes, I get some giraffes. The spring box and the uh, water buffalo. Um, I need some males, but I don't. The store isn't selling any unless you have the, uh, the special, like, contribution bucks. But as far as trying to buy with the regular currency, there aren't any males in the, uh, in the trade market. So just to make money, I haven't been worried about, you know, getting the ones with the, uh, the conservation credits. Just go price them here and go to cash. Dog, another African wild dog. They're dying. I'm making money, but they dying off. I got to keep replacing them. They keep dying at old age. So that's good, but they've only bred one cycle. I have to just keep searching back, seeing what pops up. I don't want to do too many males. I don't want them fighting each other. All right, guys, and what we'll do, we'll go ahead and wrap it up right here. I got the pen built, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start placing the new animals in the new habitat, and we'll see how these interspecies animals interact with one another 
and how they like our little pine that we got there for them and then do whatever adjustments or make whatever adjustments need to be made so that they're happy um, or as happy as we can get them at our current level, all right? Hit me in the comment box, guys. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can check this out. I'm going to do a little bit of modding. I'm just kind of fixing up the roadway a little bit more. But yeah, hit me in the comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can check this out. And I have more on the way. And actually, they did a update. There is an update because this is still uh, early access footage. So I'm going to finish this out. And then I'm going to do a brand new start uh, under the new uh, update and the official release that came out. Because the game has expanded. They've already added a lot to the game. All right? Send me in the comment box. Like, subscribe, share. Charles Macro. Planet Zoo, thank you for stopping through, and I'm gonna holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro. My name. I run the game.